change will make our streets safer, calmer and quieter. Motorists will now have to hit the brakes when driving through most residential and downtown roads as Edmonton's default speed limit has been lowered to 40 kilometers per hour in an effort to reduce serious collision. Edmontonians split down the middle on the idea, some tweeting out it's a money grab with reports of photo radar already set up where the new changes are in effect. Others saying it should have been lowered to 30. The city claims the 10 kilometer per hour difference in speed limits could be a matter of life or death for pedestrians. The pedestrian survival rate is 40% when struck by a car driving 40 kilometers per hour. That survival rate is cut in half when a motorist is driving 50 kilometers per hour. Even in the neighborhood where we're in right now, there's, there's no reason to go anything more than 40. Our roads are narrow. Uh, kids are at playgrounds. By reducing speeds, drivers have more time to react, which in turn should reduce the likelihood of crashes. A part of the city's plan to achieve Vision Zero, seeing zero traffic-related serious injuries and fatalities by 2032. We're going to be out. When we do receive uh, traffic complaints about speeding in residential, we are going to evaluate them. The default speed limit means there won't always be signs telling motorists their maximum speed. This means that if there isn't a speed limit sign uh, advising otherwise, Edmontonians should assume that the speed limit is 40 kilometers per hour. An interactive map showcasing all of the various speed limits within the city can be found on the City of Edmonton's website. A grace period will also be in effect until September 1st, allowing motorists time to adjust to the new changes. In Edmonton, Laura Krause, City News.